Hi guys! Okay, sorry, I didn't know if it was recording or not. I am sorry, I haven't made a video in a while. I've been trying to get Caitlin to make one, and every time we go to hang out, it just doesn't work out. But this is the weekly favorites and a poo! Woo! Okay, so I have a couple of things. I don't have as much as I normally do, but got a couple, so yeah. Okay, so the first thing is the Revlon Colorstay Whipped Cream Makeup. I have mine in 320 Warm Golden. And it looks like this. I love it. It has medium to full coverage, but it's buildable to full. Um, I always build mine to full with about two layers. Um, I don't know. I just love this foundation. It is so blendable. It easy to work with it it's just amazing it's a good foundation i'm sorry my hair looks really flat you guys yeah pumped it up anyway the next one is a powder foundation it is the smashbox and i have mine in medium and it just looks like this the packaging is whatever holy cow i have this everywhere okay it looks like that and it's one of the things that you turn i'm not going to turn it because it'll get everywhere but it just looks like that and I love this stuff too. It has, it's one of those powders that you go to use for setting, but it has like amazing coverage. So like if some, if you use like a lightweight coverage foundation and it didn't cover everything you want, you just go in with this and put it all over your face and you're good. It's amazing. Okay, the next thing is the Revlon Color Burst Lacquer Balm and I have mine in 110. Not even gonna pronounce it, just looks like that. And here's just a swatch of it. It just looks like that. Ignore the scar on my hand. Look at the color. Here, let me swatch it a little bit for you guys. There you go. And they are so. Uh, they are so creamy. Oh my god. Okay, so my lips have been really chapped. So I can't use like a basic lipstick. I use my. I use my little EOS before I do any of my makeup and by the time I'm done with my makeup the EOS is kind of set in and then I go in and I use this or any shade that I'm using for that day but for this week this one has been like a rocker I've been wearing it every day except for one day but I've been wearing it every day and I love it it's perfect like there's nothing wrong with it okay sorry I needed to fix that the next thing is the May Maybelline Dream Lumi Pen Highlighting Concealer and I have mine in Radiant and it just looks like this and you know what I really like this but I am mad that I got it in such a pinky like it is very pink I wish it was more of a glowy color than a pink and it's very dry sorry that's like not coming out but it's very dry to you but look at that but it highlights really really well I mean like it the only my only complaint is really the brush and I mean not the brush the pinkness of it and how dry it is but really I can overlook that for the way it works it's amazing the next thing and the last thing is the Rimmel Scandalized waterproof eyeliner I don't know what color this is it's like a nudie it's like a nude, um, just a nude, really. Um, this is going to be hard to see when I swatch it. There it goes. Can y'all see that? It's really good to use. I use it on the inner corner of my eye right here. And then the rest I use eyeliner and then I use an eyeliner pen up top too. And it is really good. for. It makes your eyes look more awake. And it makes you look... Like if you didn't get much sleep last night and it shows, put some of that on the inside right here and it's perfect. I promise you. I lied. There's one more thing. <laughs> okay, this is the, I want to say NYX. Yeah, NYX concealer and it's the Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer in the little pot. I know they have one in a little tube or whatever, which I do not have my tube with me. But I know they have one in a little tube, but I have mine in the pot. It is really nice. I love it. It is, oh. Um, the color I got it in is light, I think. 
I love it. It is so creamy and it goes on flawlessly. Now, I do not use this to conceal like um, acne or anything like that or if I have any breakouts. I use it on my under eyes like I have it on right now which you can't really tell because my makeup's worn off because I've been at school all day for like and I've been gone for like nine hours and I use it on my nose and um, my cupid's bow and my chin and it is amazing you guys I mean just look at that like look let's compare this to the Maybelline Dream Lumi okay because I know there has been people that compare the two which first of all you get more in the NYX one and it's cheaper so this one right here right here is the NYX and the one on the top is the Maybelline and you can tell the difference in just the color and if you could feel it the creaminess and consistency of them are very different I don't know why people even say that they compare to each other because they really don't um but I do not have a poo for you guys I'm so sorry um, I am hopefully going to go shopping this weekend and I will get more makeup so you guys can look forward to a haul video and that's really it for this video. I'm sorry I don't have a poo for you guys but hopefully I will have a haul this weekend and if I don't I will for sure have a video up Sunday or Monday because I'm going to gauge my ears again which they're at a normal, they're just normal ear piercing right now but I used to have them gauged and I went up to like a six. And this time I want to go all the way up to zero, but I don't want to go bigger, that way I can close them if I want to. Um, but I do want to start doing that again, and I will get them either Sunday, not tomorrow, but Sunday. And if I do, I'll make a video on it for you guys. So yeah, I'm excited, so it won't be just makeup. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Alright, bye guys!